in here, Russ versus CWD. Unfortunately, the CWD guys had a little bit of it of an issue getting uh, about getting some players out. So looks like they're going to be playing two men down against Russ, which is a very established team. So I'm pretty sure Russ isn't going to have too much of an issue here. This should pretty much be a blowout. But you know, it'll be interesting. Maybe fun to watch. You know. All right, men. We've got enemies in the area. We either have to take them all out or capture their base. Let's roll. Go to free mode here. So looking at the map, Russ is going to go ahead and send their T-37 out to the field to get some scouting done. Make sure uh, that Centurion one's not going to come and try and flank. And looking at the CWD heavies. It looks like they're going to be playing a little bit more passively. Very risky strategy for this map. You don't want to get corralled in on Insk. Not a thing you want to be doing. So it looks like the Rust guys are already to the middle of the map and all their heavies. And it looks like they're trying to set up, trying to figure out what's going on. CWD, it looks like they're going to go ahead and try for a type of turtle. And this is mainly because they're just down players. They don't have the, uh, the room to go attack the rest guys moving up again and the Centurion one spotted Borsch in the lightweight Borsch is out of there without taking a single hit here we go we're seeing a little bit of a rush push here they're coming in on a Tiger 2 Tiger 2 trying to side scrape trying to find a shot D Depot has already taken a shot here. See some shots exchanged. I think the Rust Haters are caught in a little bit of an awkward spot here. They need to go ahead and do exactly what they're doing. Get into a spot. They can hide a lot of their tanks and just push in here. Look at this, we see a full rust push going on right now. Tiger 2 is getting abused here. I put one into him, put two into him. So that was going to come around and finish him up. Now the KD4 is being targeted. Let's see how well he targeted. Oh, this Tiger 2 is taking some hits from the back and the back. He's going to take this hit. Tiger 2 gets trapped. And it looks like he's going to put the big one into the IS2. KD4 takes another hit. KD4 takes another hit. Tiger 2 takes another hit. KD4 is now on a one shot. Tiger 2 takes another hit. Tiger 2 is now on a one shot. A lot of action over here, Rush just full on swarm mode. And the T28 is now in a very sticky situation. Probably gonna get killed right now. Maybe a shot from the or shot from the rear. Shot on the rear. He's got some shirt. He's got some shirt. He's got one left. And he is down. <laughs> yeah, you can't play down two, two tanks against a team like Rush. There's no chance. Well, GG, Rush. Chalk up another win. You guys can go ahead and pick uh, your tank.
Yeah, you guys can go ahead and just pick all your tanks. Whoever it is unrated their tank on your team, make sure they choose the same tank. Alright guys, starting up here game two on Ensk. Russ is now up one to zero. As I said before, unfortunately the CWD clan had to play down two players against Russ, and Russ is a very experienced team, so as you would imagine they're not doing so hot right now. They got pretty swarmed the last game, so let's see what's gonna happen in this game. Let's see if Russ is just gonna employ the same tactic and just do the swarm. The one good thing about CWD setup is that even though they did just bring along a tier 7, which is a little daft, they are using mostly heavily armored tanks with a lot of health, so at least they have a lot of hit points to go around. So Russ has 5 IS-3s, 1 lightweight, and a 237 at their disposal. And it looks like CWD is going to be sending some of their heavies over to the 890 lane. Interesting strat. Looks like Russ just thinks they're going to do the same thing. Russ is full on rush right now. They're just getting into a strong position and waiting for the enemy team. I'll tell you what though, at least Russ has light tanks. So when that base starts getting capped, they'll be able to get back. Alrighty. So it looks like the Rust light tank and one of the Rust IS-3s are going back to the base, realizing it's going to get pushed. Yes, the Rust T-37, I think I spotted the KV-4. The KV-4 is still going to come around looking for a shot. But the Rust IS-3 and lightweight are over here, ready to help out. Get some shots traded. The, the KV-4 hits Depot in his IS-3. T-37 trying to pin the lower plate of the KV-4. Pretty hard spot to play. A little 88 damage roll there. This is about half his health though. This is another big shot of health. Players on very low health right now. T-29 takes a very high roll. 482 from Depot. KV-4 still looking for the light tank. Puts one in a cast. Per cast takes another one for the T-29. Pretty good focus fire by CW-2 right now. But now these guys are getting a little bit outplayed. We don't want to be dealing with light tanks in the KV-4. Not a good situation. Ugh. Sorry, guys. And when the KV-4 gets set on fire and the IS-3 is bullying the T-29 to death. That means the KV-4 gets set on fire again and he is out of this game. Great play by those light tanks.
It looks like the Tiger 2 is coming along now. Gonna have to put some fire. Man, he's a out player in the T37, but he is the only one left here, so. He is a little bit scared. And let's just watch it. Here come all the heavies. Get shot once in the side. Get shot twice in the side. Second one doesn't go through. Like bounces a shot off the guy's three. He's just grabbing that. He, he knows it's all over. Takes one. Takes two. Takes three. He's out of here. He's out of here. Play on my I chose you eight to travel throughout time because the future of the world is in peril. DC's Legends of Tomorrow series premiere Thursday, January 21st on the CW. A reminder since you guys uh, pick first you guys only pick one tank first and then Russ picks two and then you pick two and then they pick two and then you pick your and you pick two Yeah, you guys can pick your two last tanks.
Alrighty guys, here we go. Game three. This time on mines. This looks like the CWD guys went with a lot of mediums to try and get up in that hill quickly. However, Russ is taking five tier eight light tanks, so they're gonna dominate that hill. Yep, Russ is doing a full hill push, great coordination, all going up in pretty much a straight line. And they're all up here. Looks like Borsch and the Lightweight taking a very aggressive push over here. But it looks like the Ice 3s already have just gone full on, full Russia tank mode. So I'm sure everyone is on very low health. The Bulldog is coming. Uh, the Bulldog is going to come up to eat. And he's going to eat that. The Bulldog is going to eat that. The Tiger 2 is going to completely swarm. Including the Bulldog. Taking 1, taking 3, taking 3, taking 4, taking 5. The Bulldog is just dumping the Bulldog. He gets taken out. He just taken out, and yeah, what can I say? I expected this to happen. Yeah, the sanctuary is pretty dead. I think we should be planning a shot to him soon. There you go, there's the ice cream shot we're looking for. And he has now fallen. Back over yonder. STA1 is trying to face off against two light tanks. This bulldog's going to be way As this quick loaded, it's one, it's two, it's three, everybody shooting them in. Oh, and that's the end. There we go. Okay, sorry. Got by my nose real quick. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. So all Russ has to do is one, one more.
and here we go. Game four. Russ versus CWD. CWD, as I said, playing two man down. So this has pretty much been a wash. Russ is just having some fun now. Just playing pretty recklessly, but it doesn't matter for them. They have plenty of uh, plenty more hit points to throw around. Chosen all light tanks. Look at these guys. They're confident over here. And I think almost all of them are auto loaders. They have two, they have three lightweights which aren't auto loaders. The Bulldogs and the 1390s are auto loaders. So let's see how they're gonna see how they're gonna do this. So 11390 is sticking it back, make sure nothing bad's gonna happen. And it looks like CWD is actually doing something very smart. <laughs> They're choosing the turtle. We need to get into a bit of better positions. Like this 228 shouldn't be sideways right now because he's gonna get ripped. But their choice to turtle actually is a very good choice. It's now it focuses, it makes all these light tanks, you know. They have to now come to them. There's no way these light tanks can beat them at distance. Very little chance. So they're swarming this hacker 2 right now. The real talk is not having a very good moment. Boom, he's already out of this game. The KV can look at it up. It's like they're going to focus on the KV next. They're taking a lot of hit points, though. They're taking out a lot of hit points. Looks like Nick is going to go ahead and go right up here, try and kill the T28. T28 puts one right into the T28. Puts one in the T28, catches him on fire. Puts two into the T28. Goes for the third one. Make like the Bulldog puts the third one in. And. <laughs> It looks like the turtle strategy has not completely worked out for these guys. If we are honest, the KV4 is getting shot from many angles now. Russ Clan just needs to send a major piece of that. He's got a shot at from the time, from the front, from the side, from the sky, everywhere. The KV4 gets taken out. Having two men can take out Nick in the 1390, but it is over. It is over. That's one for you. Uh, what can I say, guys? Uh, I should have expected this to happen. Well, that's it, guys. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, take it easy, man. Thanks a lot. Mhm. Mm yeah, no problem. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this super short stream. I'll probably be hosting somebody again. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this probably only 15, 20 minutes.